They're literally jumping out of the water. Oh, that's a big piece. Oh, that's a big, oh, the little clownfish got it. I'm stronger. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a little DIY reefing food. You might be saying, Bianca, what the heck is going on? And yes, I can tell you that this looks very, very cloudy right now. And that is probably because of Mr. Diamond Gobi down there. But can we take a second to appreciate the sand bed? I mean, look at it. It's almost spotless. He did take a lot of sand out of right here. That's the first time glass has shown. So I do have to kind of reposition all my sand. But I mean, look at it. He'll have like little stages where it will look nice and clear and then he'll just, something will happen and he'll just have like a cleaning frenzy and it will, it will stir up the sand bed a lot. It looks like he's over, yep, look, he's over here. That's why. He has not cleaned this, there he is, look at him working. His little hole is right in here, let's see if he goes into it, yep. And you can see him chilling down there in his little cave. I don't know what he's, he's like coming in and out, but... That's his little spot that he made. Basically, I talked to the fish the other day and they were telling me that they were hungry and that they wanted some new substantial food source that they could just have an all-in-one bite because I ran out of my frozen food a while ago and then I've just been using like frozen mysis chunks occasionally or pellets and I kind of switch off between the two. But they said, I want something yummy and the corals all agreed. So that's what got us into this situation right here. Jason is the one who originally found this BRS recipe the first time that we made it. So I'm gonna go recruit his services, but we don't use the entire BRS recipe just because it is a lot of stuff, but you will see how we break it down. Here are some of the goods that we already had on deck. We got refroids, we got whatever this is that Jason just had here, silicon, uh, that's not silicon, cyclops, silicon, brightwell, coral minos, reef chili, uh, mysis shrimp, but freeze dried, so they're all like, looks like, uh, looks like hay, paracoccus powder, spirulina powder, and then we got some seaweed, regular nori, and purple sheets from Two Little Fishies. We are missing some of the key ingredients, the protein in this fish food, so we gotta go pick that up. Squid, scallops, uh, tuna, raw shrimp, things like that to add a little bit of a mm to the to the food, you know what I mean? We're going straight to the fish, but just be prepared for the scent. We're on the hunt for squid, tuna, Shrimp skis and scallops, right? Four things. Silver sides. <laughs> this is a good spot for bait. Oh, there's fish in here that I didn't even know existed. Squid. Yeah, but is it? This is that has the the stuff in it. We need uh, the clean one, no? Wowzers! Same thing. That guy is humongous. In the half. Yeah. That thing is big as. Here are the shrimp skis. Gosh, it freaking reeks over here. A little bag like this? No, they're cooked already. Oh, raw, yeah. I think I got it. Tube and tentacles. Squid ski? That's it, no? Looks pretty clean to me. So we got the squid. We're still missing the tuna and the shrimp. They only had farm shrimp. Jason wants to get. What do you want to get? Wild caught? Wild caught, Wild caught shrimp. So uh, we gotta hit up a neighborhood Walmart now and see if they have what we need. Wild so. scallops, thirty dollars. <laughs> My fish ain't getting that. Tuna, hidden tuna. Is that tuna? Tuna steak. Oh, and then we have tuna. Promotes healthy oceans. I like it. And seven twenty-four. Not bad. I found the wild caught shrimp. They're just way more expensive. Ten dollars for the mediums. Wild Gulf shrimp, raw medium, peeled and dried. Four dollars more. You want that one, right? Mediums. I think that's fine, no? So we got the shrimp, the tuna, and the squid. We're gonna pass on the scallops. They were 30 bucks. We're balling on a budget, so we're just gonna beef it up with some other stuff. And we got the goods, so. There's some nice little tuna steaks right there. Shrimp ski, wild caught, wild golf shrimp, and squid. A mixing tray, got a food processor. This is not our original recipe. Shout out to Boca Reef Supply for doing the detailed rundown on like a bunch of fish food. We just kind of picked and choose what we preferred to use that wasn't going to also cost us like an arm and a leg along with what we kind of already had on deck just for, for our tanks in general. So that's what this is and that's what we'll consider, you know, the ultimate reef food because it's got that boom, that 
that bang in the protein, the coral food. It's got the stuff for the little fishies, the big fishies, for the herbivores. We picked the best things that we felt our reefs could be benefit from. I feel confident using all of the squid body and no tentacles. No tentacles? No tentacles. Mmm, that looks fun. Oh, bye-bye. Jeez Louise, that shit is frozen. How many of these you want to use? All of them, no? Oh, you were just saying that it was going to be too much. No tentacles, just all that. Slippery. Dang, that thing works fast. Uh-oh, that's a freaking big one. This looks like either coconut or chopped ice. <laughs> it looks like coconut. Looks like a block of soap. It's stuck. Why did I do that? What the heck? <laughs> Yummy. Kind of looks refreshing, like a, like a frozen icy or something. Next up, we are going to add wild golf pot shrimp. So we got our frozen goodies. As you can see, it quickly starts to pile up and become a lot of food. And that's that we're doing half of the recipe that we did the first time we did this. It's time to start adding some of the dry goods and liquids. A spirulina. I think we did four caps in the main one. Want to just do like one, one hefty cap full. That seems like a hefty cap. And more? No, good. no, no. Not enough. Yeah, that's good. Spread it. <laughs> Next is the parcocus. Paracopus. Paracocus. Whatever. Paracocus. Paracocus. Christmas time. Now we're gonna do the mysis shrimp, which are freeze dried instead of like the frozen ones that you usually feed your fish. This is bigger than the first order. Yeah, this is huge. Doubt that, but okay. Now that looks like like breadcrumb crumbles on top. A quarter. How much reef chili? Capture. Capful. Great. Capful of reef chili. So I don't know where Jason got this from, but psychopsis. I, I, I'm not sure why we're putting this. Was this in the bulk reef video? No. You just made this up? You just wanted to get it? Whole cyclopsis? I had it for my antheus. Ugh. Looks like baby food. Mmm, that looks yummy. Cellcon Aquarium f Food Booster. It actually doesn't smell that bad. It just smells like fish food. I think this is just gonna make it pasty. Looks like, oh, look at it. Soaks into the, the food, just like, absorbs it. This would be a good time for you guys to hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, new videos every single week. This is a lot of coral aminos. This bottle's almost full. Cool. I'm only gonna do like half because I'm pretty sure this is way more concentrated um, than the other one, I feel like. I don't know, could definitely be wrong, but just the numbers aren't adding up, so. I think we're down to the last three things we gotta add here. Polyp Lab Refroids, shout out to Polyp Labs. They will be at Skelly Fest September 24th, so make sure you check out their booth. So we're gonna drop this in. Looks so pretty. Last thing we gotta do is add the uh, algaes for the herbivore. So we'll do Two Little Fishies by Julian Sprung. Sea veggies, purple seaweed, we had some on deck. So we're gonna use this. Actually, Polyp Lab and Two Little Fishies will be right near their apple area. And now we gotta do the greens. Hey. What? I wanna try something. Oh, here you go. That one crumbles a little bit easier. Wow, aren't you this so smart? Look at that big mush. 20 bucks, take a bite. Tw what's in there? No, no, it's already got coral food and stuff. Considered it for a second. Now we're talking, add a little bit more seaweed. That thing is looking green, green, green. We're gonna try to make it fit in four. I'm not really sure, it's but. It's not gonna fit in four. Have a little faith. Okay. This is easily gonna go into It's four. gotta be thin so it can cut easily. Easily, easily go okay. into four. Easily watch. Trying to make a best in the bag. Okay, that's it. 
Hey, who's packing over here? Make sure you're filming right, huh? Don't take the air out yet. I left a little gap. No, you didn't. Why can't you just let me live my life? I'm just trying to show you how to live your life the right way. F make sure you're videoing right. Oh God. my God. All right, and then flatten it out so that way when you... <laughs> take all the air out, yeah, yeah. So that way... Whoa, it's cold. Now can I get the air out? Mm-hmm. What about this air? The air bubble's gonna squeeze out. Ooh. You put too much. I didn't put too much. It's perfect. If I was to order some fish food, this is how I would want it to come. Full to the brim. Boom! One done. And all four have been completely filled. Made it. Woohoo. And they're pretty thin. So we're gonna drop these in the freezer now and let them crisp up. I think they're ready. You could either like chop these up if you want already. I sometimes just like hit it with a hammer or like right now it's it's frozen but it's not like super duper hard. So I kind of just, I already broke a little piece off on my feet right now. And you can literally just uh, break it. I get little chunks. Check out that solid reef food right there. A little, a little frostbite never hurt nobody. Ugh. Look at them getting excited. So excited. Break it down a little. I think they are ready. Look how excited they are. Do they like it? Oh my goodness. They're devouring it. That's right. Mama made that for you with love. Wow. Wow, they're really going ham. They absolutely love it. Look, look. The goby's even going crazy right now. Oh, oh. Somebody senses something. Check out those little tentacles coming out. They're literally jumping out of the water. Oh, that's a big piece. Oh, that's a big, oh, the little clownfish got it. That's good, huh, guys? Yeah, they like it. What's that? You want some more? All right, I got you. Hold on, let me put a little water in here. So, oh, oh, yeah, more chunks. Let's go. Let's go. Where are you? Oh, my goodness. This is probably too much. I probably took too big of a chunk, but whatever, you know. Look, oh, oh my goodness. Look at him going crazy. Look, even the gobies coming out over here, the diamond goby. Which, by the way, this freaking guy makes a mess, but literally, look at my sand bed. That thing is beautiful. That's the last of it for today, guys, for probably a couple days. I don't like to do this every single day. Um, I like to, you know, switch it up. If I'm lazy, I'll throw some pellets in there. If I, I try to do seaweed at least every other day because of the tangs. Um, and then the seaweed, and then every once in a while, like if I feed a lot, I might skip a day of feeding just because I feel like sometimes I overdo it and I don't want to do, you know, too crazy of nutrients in my tank because I don't want to do that. But wow, they really love the food. That's good. So they're eating a bunch of stuff right now. They're eating the shrimps, the tuna steaks, the squid. They have, uh, we also put in there all the, the coral aminos the refroids, we got algae for the tangs, you know, um, there is a big mixture of food in there. And as you saw, we got four little uh, Ziplocs bags filled with that. So that's gonna last. And you saw the tiny piece that I put, which again, I probably put a little bit too much. I fed some to the nano tank, um, but I probably could have done maybe like half, maybe, maybe like three quarters of that size that I actually did. And, you know, I probably got maybe 80, 80 servings that I can get out of that one, um, out of that one Ziploc. So that's a lot of food. You know, I'm good. I'm good for the rest of the year for sure off of that one batch. So, and it's pretty cool that, you know, you made a little concoction and you put it, put it together. So definitely a big shout out to BRS for putting that initial video together and kind of giving everybody the ideas on, on things that would be good in the frozen reef food. Um, and then I definitely recommend checking out that video because, you know, you might want to add other stuff that we didn't add. You know, maybe, you're, maybe your pocketbook looks a little different and you want to beef up the food and your corals and your fish a little bit more. Then by all means, they give you a bunch of options of different stuff that you can add in there and really go crazy with it. This is uh, just what seemed to work best for us, the most affordable while getting still the great benefits of the uh, 
homemade reef food. There we go, guys. I think it is safe to say that the fish love the frozen reef food, the corals love the reef food, everybody loves the reef food that we just made. If you guys like this content, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. It is completely free. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on because we got new fish videos every single week. You are gonna wanna be here for it. Don't forget, September 24, 2022 in Miami, Florida, Miami, Florida, Skelly Fest, the Ultimate Aquatic Expo, is gonna be happening right here. You guys do not wanna miss it. Get your tickets, they're only $12 online right now, www.skellyfest.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. I'm